Um, this is gonna be a journey, y'all. It's gonna be a journey. <laughs> Your favorite auntie mama look here i have decided decided to do what i said i was gonna do before and i went with it for about eight nine months and then i was like oh no hell no i can't do this but i'm gonna go ahead and try to transition my um relaxed hair to natural hair and i'm gonna try to chronicle uh chronicalize this as much as i can I made the worst mistake you could possibly make um, a couple months ago, and 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 I know this. Um, but aside from the stress of this whole pandemic that's going on, I did a relaxer um, on my hair, and then literally like two days later, I got a sew in, and I left the sew in in for about five almost six weeks and when i tell you so much of my hair has come out baby on top of dealing with the stress like i said with all this because as you know y'all you know i'm an essential worker so i'm out here in this bull crap as it is but my hair broke off so much i mean it's like i had a whole nother baby and it was just hair that broke off so right now i'm just like you know what i'm i, I want to get my hair back healthy 2020 has robbed us enough, goddammit. I'm taking my hair back. Okay, I can't do it with you bitches. I gotta take my hair back. So, I am going to... I'm gonna do it, y'all. I'm gonna do it. I did it before for a little while, but like I said, the way that my edges were, were getting set up, it was just too much. It was too much, but I'm gonna do it because I love the way natural hair looks. Um, I have to get past this whole phase that it's going to be going through to get to my end result where I want it to be. But look here, like I said, um, if anybody else is on this journey or you have been through this already, y'all already know what I'm going through or what I will be going through. <laughs> Somebody need y'all to pray for me. But yeah, I'm going to try to do this, y'all. I'm going to really try to do this as best I can. Um, last night, I've been doing rice water on my hair for the last like three weeks anyway. Um, once a week. But um, last night, I just braid, I put my hair in like two Pocahontas like things, put some, um, what was that, some coconut oil on it and this other, like, because my hair was dry. Long story short, it came out somewhat cute this one. Of course, when you first take it down, it's like bing, bang, bing, 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 pow, it's good. But then as the day goes on, it's like, okay, what the hell. But I'm going to ride this thing out. I'm doing some braids in my hair this weekend. So we gonna head at, but um, this is gonna be my first vlog of transitioning to um, natural hair, y'all. Jesus be a fence, you know what I'm saying? Jesus need to be a fence because I already had an issue with Starbucks this morning. Starbucks, um, over there, I think it's on Sundance Parkway. Y'all kiss my ass. Y'all kiss my ass. Y'all know why? Y'all get yeah yeah. You tried to make up for it by giving me some free shit, but. Y'all kiss my ass. But anyways, y'all, this is not what we're here for. We are here for the natural hair. Look here. This is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this part that I'm doing right now. Like I said, I'm going to chop this up, do this, screw this, you know, back it up, flip it, and reverse it. But we're going to do this natural hair thing, y'all. Look it. It's, it looks healthy. It really does. And, um, yeah, and, yeah. I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit, peace. I'm saying goodbye to Creamy Crack. Oh, that's like my best friend. That's my best friend. I'm fully committing this time to go ahead and make the transition to natural hair. Now, notice I said transitional transition from my relaxed hair to natural hair because I ain't cutting all my hair off. I can't do that big chop. That ain't in me. I'm sorry. Some folk can do it and they cute and they can rock that, but not me. I can't do it. I uh uh. It just won't. 
you know when something ain't for you that's just not for me y'all i just can't do it now a couple years ago i was trying to do the whole transition from you know my relaxed hair to natural hair i lasted for all of about it was somewhere between nine to eleven months i can't remember exactly but my hair was looking a <laughs> Cause I still had the relaxed hair and I had this going on and I just woke up one day. I was like, no, nah, I, I, I just need to do it. I need to part my hair. And when I tell you I relaxed my hair and my hair was beautiful after, but what was crazy when I put the perm on, um, of the relaxer on, you know, perm is to make it curly, relaxer, whatever. Bitch, we call it perm. Well, I'm from Texas. Damn, we got a perm. Anyways, when I put the relaxer on my hair after not having it on there for so many months, it took, but it didn't take right away. So it's like I still had the natural, but the 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 perm was trying, I mean, you know, trying to break through, but the 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 natural was like, well, don't give up on my ancestors was trying to hang on. But I just let them European folk just come in and just corrupt my whole damn mind. And I put the relaxer on it. Now it's been about, it's been about a month since I did the sewing and I took all that out. And my hair, y'all, my hair is so damaged. Now I didn't want to get crazy with all the different products because, as you know, um, there are it's expensive. Number one to be natural. That's another reason why I didn't want to go natural for the longest. I'm like, shit. Why do I want to spend all this money on all these products when I can just go? Get a relax on my hair. That can be up for about two months. You know what I'm saying? Wrap it, flex rod, whatever I want to do. Like, that's so low maintenance. Put a little coconut oil on and just go to my, my business. But I'm getting older, y'all. And I need to think about all of my health. Hair health as well. And I just, it's time. <laughs> I want to say, I don't know how old I was when I got my first relaxer. But I do know it was a just for me. So I had to be young as hell. <laughs> And it was, you know, that pink oil was the first perms that I was getting. And it's like, that alone dries out your head. And it was like, it is, it's, it's just, it's time. Products. I only got a few things because I did not not want to jump into this head first like a lot of people do. You go out and you buy all this crap and you don't use even half of it or you start off using it and it just sits there. I'm going to start using the Carol's Daughters products. I got the um, shampoo. Oh, are you gonna, are you going to get right for mama? No, nah, y'all can't see it. Anyways, I'm doing the Carol's Daughter, um, the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the... The Goddess Strength, the new collection. I'm also doing the Goddess Strength um, by Carol's Daughter, the Leave-In Cream Conditioner. Is, yeah, the Leave-In Cream. And then um, I got, the, of course, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil to lock it all in. Oh, forgot. If you don't got coconut oil, 100% raw extra virgin coconut oil, I keep this on deck anyway. I use it for everything any dog on way but yes i'm just starting off with that yeah y'all we on this journey if anybody else is on this journey as well please comment down below let's give each other advice let's strengthen each other up because it's gonna be a trying time okay we're gonna have to be each other's accountability buddy so we won't go back to that creamy crack you know what i'm saying so last night as you guys know i did the wash with the carol's daughter and my hair feels so good this morning forgive me the camera is shaking i'm on my way into work it's friday and i'm already running late because bitch had to get a breakfast taco, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's neither here nor there. But my hair feels really good this morning, but it's crazy. Now I'm doing all this research about different hair porosity and all this stuff. I'm seeing that I have high porosity hair because my hair was super dry on the inside this morning. And it's like all that, I mean, you know, it was still kind of oily, but... It was like dry-ish or whatever, so I put some water in a spray bottle, and I actually have these biotin, um, biotin capsules. So I, you know, powder. I just actually opened up the capsule, put some of that in the water, and sprayed some of it on my hair to kind of moisturize my hair again. And so we're we're rocking a bun today, and I clipped off about a half an inch because they are so processed, they are so fried, they are so damaged. They had to go and I'm not gonna clip my hair again um, for another couple of months. Whew. 
you pray for me i pray for you y'all for real all right so i'm here at the hair store fresh off of work i am tired as hell please forgive <laughs> the shininess of the face y'all know i work outside but i'm going to the hair store i'm getting ready to go and um purchase some braid hair because i'll be doing brock spray uh, i will be doing my box braids tomorrow so i'm gonna take you guys in the hair store with me here we go Okay, so boom. I didn't get to record in the hair store like I really wanted to. In the hair store, there's a whole lot, a whole lot going on. And then I'm fresh off of work too. It was a whole lot. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I got at the hair store. Okay, so I got a protein pack that I'm gonna do on my hair because I am doing box braids tomorrow. So this is the protein pack that I'm gonna be putting on my hair. And of course, I have to get some good, good gel the braid hair I've used this braid hair before and I love the way this braid hair is it's already pre-stretched it's really really good after you finish your hair and you know you dip it in the hot water this hair is good it's $5.99 a bag I got like five bags of these but you get a good thick amount of hair um, I'm gonna do jumbo box braids so uh, so y'all I'm just gonna fast forward through this part I actually have my hair parted in four sections and I just have a water bottle mixed with some water some Jamaican black castor oil as well as some leave-in conditioner and I'm just going through and I'm fully saturating my hair to prepare it for the protein pack I had just cleaned it the night before washed it and conditioned it real good so here I'm just going through and I'm re-wetting everything here I'm just taking the protein and I'm adding it into the four sections of my hair making sure to saturate my hair really good and it was at that moment i realized damn that stuff smell good all right so i'm looking like a chicken head <laughs> i'm getting ready to get in the shower wash this out because it says to only leave it on for two to five minutes it's been about 10 so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out and i'm gonna hit y'all back so y'all, it's the next day. I went ahead and parted my hair into the sections to get ready to add the box braids to it. Now, this is the most tedious part, especially if you have a husband like mine that don't want nothing to do with your hair. So you got to figure out how to do this on your own. Y'all, my hair felt so good when I had it up and that the wind was blowing. It actually took me back to my little elementary school days when I was on the playground, thought I was cute. So somebody tried to step up, had to let them know I was working with, you know what I'm saying? But not for real though. Y'all know what I'm saying. Okay, y'all, so here is the final product of my DIY braids. They came out really, really good. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I actually got done with them pretty late last night. <laughs> um, but I'm happy with how they turned out. They turned out really, really well. I've been playing around with them, different styles that I could put them in. Um, like I said, I know I wanted the option of having something in the middle. If I wanted something in the middle, I um, used, two packs of hair. You see the hair that I got. They're $5.99 a pack. I used two packs. I came out to about $12 for that. Plus a little accessories, you know, little trinkets and stuff like that. So all in all, for basically free, not really free 99, but cheap 99, I say my braids turned out very, very cute. I'm very, very happy with them. So not too bad. I bought five bags in total, but I knew that I was going to be doing, um, going through this um, healthy hair transition. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of different things with the extra hair that I have, a couple of little braid buns and stuff like that. But hey, look here, not too shabby. And this is not my first time doing my own braids. I have done them before. So. Hence why they do look good. You know, she got a little bit of experience, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think about my braids. Thank y'all for sticking with me through my first little hair vlog. It will get better over time, trust me. Because we going through this transition of my hair together. Anybody that's going through it with me, hey, let me know all of your, your hints, your tips, your secrets, your your holy grails, your everything that you live by. I'm looking forward to it all. Thank y'all for sticking through my little vlog. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. DIY braids. She did that.